In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix it when your Amazon Fire TV or Fire Stick is failing to update. So the first thing you want to do is scroll on over to settings. From here, we're going to scroll down and we're going to go to network. And then we're going to select our internet connection, whether you're using Wi-Fi or wired. And we're going to press the play pause button, which is going to bring us to a speed test. So from here, we're going to scroll over and we're going to select run speed test. We'll go to yes, continue. And this is going to give us some idea as to how fast our network connection is to the Amazon Fire TV. Now do bear in mind that even though you might have a fast network download speed from your router, for example, I have 100 megabytes down and 30 up, ultimately, sometimes your Amazon Fire TV isn't necessarily picking up that full connection. So when it comes to having issues with downloading updates, I've found personally that using a wired connection works a heck of a lot better than a wireless connection. Now I know that's not an option for everyone, but that's just something you could do. You could also run through some of these basic Wi-Fi troubleshooting tips, such as restarting your router, so unplugging it for about 60 seconds, plugging it back in, and you could also do the same thing for your Amazon Fire TV, simply turning it off, unplugging it from the wall, and then plugging it back in to see if it fixes the issue. Now if it doesn't, another thing Amazon support recommends is that you maybe uh, you might have, I should say, not enough storage on your Fire TV. So something you could do is go to applications. From here, we're gonna scroll down and you wanna make sure automatic offload is turned on. And this is essentially just going to clear up unused apps when um, we need space for your TV. So make sure this is turned on. It's not going to affect the TV in any way other than saving you storage. From here, we're gonna to go to manage installed applications and you'll notice our internal space right here. I currently have a, a lot of gigabytes available, but if that bar is full for you, this is a good time to be uninstalling some stuff you don't use regularly. Now, Amazon support recommends that you have at least 500 megabytes available for updates. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, one thing you can do if you don't wanna uninstall stuff is to clear cache. So you'll see the rewind button to clear cache. All you need to do is press the rewind button. It's going to ask you if you want to clear the cache for this app. You just go to confirm and you can go through all these different apps and do that as well to save some space. Now, something else you could do if you don't um, use, for example, Paramount Plus regularly, you can always uninstall it and you can see the size right there, 164 megabytes. And to do that, all you need to do is press the play pause button, which will ask if you want to confirm to uninstall. And that's another way to save a lot of space, especially if you have games downloaded on your Fire TV. Hopefully this video was helpful. Like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.